Harris just doubled down on her radical vision for America by tapping another left-wing extremist as her VP nominee. The pick of walls by Kamala has breathed new life into the Republican Party. I think the Republican Party was feeling pretty dejected over the past four weeks because Kamala, quite frankly, had a, a stellar launch. She had a great launch. And uh, she kind of pulled the rug out from underneath Trump uh, when he was at the top of his game. And you can you can see it. Well, now you have walls come along. And that seems to have done the opposite. That has re uh, juvenated conservatives and Republicans. So if you go and you look at a lot of blogs, um, <clears throat> uh, conservative blogs, conservative websites, you'll see how relieved they are that that she picked Walls and not Shapiro. Because Shapiro, uh, he's very good at what he does, and he probably could have delivered Pennsylvania. Um, <clears throat> so now you have Walls, who's much easier to attack. He's got a lot of political flaws, all they have to do is throw together a few uh, campaign attack ads and say, hey, this guy appeased the looters and rioters, and he loves peddling puberty blockers to children. Don't vote for him. That's going to win over a lot of voters. Uh, and there's not a lot that the Kamala campaign can say. So I contend this might very well have been uh, Kamala's number one political mistake thus far. Tim Waltz will be a rubber stamp for Kamala's dangerously liberal agenda, like allowing convicted felons to walk free, embracing anti-American Green New Deal policies, and giving up control of our southern border to criminal aliens and violent drug cartels. A lot of the attack ads will have started to cycle. A lot of people will have started looking into who Waltz is. And I think a lot of the chatter that you're already seeing online and in X and conservative circles and on conservative websites all of those things are going to start to hit home and land, and possibly you're going to see the Kamala campaign on the defensive. Uh, and I think that part of that is because the Republican Party has been rejuvenated and are relieved. And indeed, it does, you know, it, it puts a big question mark on Pennsylvania. Democrats cannot win without Pennsylvania. The chances of Democrats taking all of the swing states in the, in the event that they lose Pennsylvania is very, 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 very slim. And, you know, look, you can you can make people happy uh, and, and you can appease kind of the, the left wing of the Democrat Party all you want and talk about how he gave free lunch lunches to kids and things like that. That's great. But at the end of the day, if you can't run that electoral map, it doesn't matter. That's all that matters in politics is the electoral votes.